Hi everyone, I'm here in California at the moment, not far from San Francisco, and I'm at a place called Tepco Beach, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that shortly. But as the tide is sweeping in, I wanna get down on the beach and have a look through some of this pottery, which you can see strewn all along the foreshore. So let's go and take a look and see what we can find. Jan, why is this pottery all here? This is where it all got dumped when TEPCO went out of business. They just dumped everything in the bay. Where really? They dumped it all in the bay? They dumped it all in the bay. This is kind of a marshland and that was sort of standard practice for a lot of big companies to dump their garbage in the bay. Nobody thought of it as an important part of the ecosystem. It went out of business because the uh, the father had passed away, the one that, who started the company, and there were three siblings and they couldn't decide who would run it. So it just went out of business instead. Right. Oh, and it's all eroding out of the banks as yes. well. Yeah. A souvenir, ceramic souvenir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Some weird. Sort of, isn't it strange? It's a little bit of an anchor on this one. Yes. Did they provide cups to the Navy? I'm not I sure, but I, I found a saucer with an anchor. Did I, you? Yeah, I, it was at home, but I can't find it. There's a pelican floating out there, by the way. <gasps> oh, the <a> pelican! <laughs> Ooh, look at this bit. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. I've got Ken's House of Pancakes. Oh, nice. There you go. <laughs> Ken's House of Pancakes. Have you heard of Ken's House of Pancakes? That's, that's perfect. Yes. You should have these knee pads on, actually. Look at this, I found a bee. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, bee! <laughs> Bottle bed! <laughs> Bottle bed! Exactly! A whole piece! A tiny little, a little Maybe saucer. A tea bag. Oh yeah! Resting place. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, sorry to keep you in suspense, but we're going to take a quick break here because it wasn't long before Jan and I realised that there were some very mysterious things to be found on Tepco Beach, as well as pottery. But first, a little more about Tepco, the technical porcelain and chinaware company, which was founded by John Battista Paliero in 1918 in El Cerrito, California. Paliero was born in 1892 in Italy and emigrated to California in 1908. For decades, the company was El Cerrito's largest employer and as well as providing many restaurants, like Ken's Pancakes, for example, with sturdy dinnerware, Tepco also supplied China to ships and galleys of the United States Pacific Fleet, sailing from San Francisco. And they also supplied the US Army throughout World War II. After the war, Paliero turned the business operations over to his sons, Tony and Arthur. But Paliero was a regular visitor to the factory, walking the production line until his death in 1968, age 85. Tepco shut down the same year, and Tepco Beach, where the factory dumped its defective and broken pottery for years, is a lasting reminder of them. And if you're lucky, you may still even find a fragment that contains the TEPCO logo. Now, what was I saying about mysterious finds? Oh my gosh, look at this. I can't believe I actually spotted this, but somebody told me to make sure I look for faces on TEPCO Beach. Oh my and gosh. this is a little ceramic Buddha it's a face. a tiny face. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Well spotted. Goodness me. What else have you got? That's the basic. The reverse oh, out yes. of basic. And then this is just some interesting little 
little design. Design on the Tepco pottery. Oh, that's got to be fine. Find of the Tepco beach. That yes. Is. That little face. I can't believe I found it. That's, that's just, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, tiny little face. Well done! Yay! Congratulations! And look at this! Oh, this is yeah, really funny! Look! Oh my gosh! It's a little person! Look, it's like made out of <laughs> clay. a little bit of clay. This little person. Look, it's not weird! <laughs> that is very strange it almost looks like et yeah just what would that have been used for what was its purpose who, who is knows? he who is he a little person who's been imprinted into this piece of clay which looks like it's been sort of just just uh just pressed down with some fingers interesting my most intriguing find from tepco beach in california <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Look at that. That looks like a, a tiny little trailer bite or something. Yeah, look. Oh, it's the same color as this. Now yeah. I'm starting to think that these have been salted. I think maybe this has been salted. No, but why would they do that? I, they... Don't, I don't know. But no, maybe... but it's, um, why would they salt it? I don't I mean, know. Maybe it's just little things that they made. It could be. Yeah. Okay, guess what? I have also found a little face and it's just here. Look. A little tiny Buddha face. See if there's any more. Oh, there's something here. Look, there's something here. What's this? That's so weird. What is that? I'm finding all these weird things. Oh my gosh! You got you found a, like a little vein. What did you find? So I found this. Nice. Um, but I found a little face. Which you did. My, a different color uh, than this. Yeah. Where is it gone? It's in here. Oh, here it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's got some of my clay on yours. Yay! Oh! <laughs> wow, that's even better spotted. Wow, well spotted. White on white. That's, that's amazing. So fun. Great. <laughs> I'm getting obsessed with finding things now. There's another thing here. Now, what's this? Oh, it's another one. No. Yes, oh, I, I found... Just found one too. No! <laughs> you just found another one. I well. just found another one. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got one there. Look, see? Oh, hers is... That one's different. This one's got, like, little, uh, like, eyelids. <laughs> you know? Look at that. That's strange. What are these doing here? I don't know, but they're fun and I'm really glad somebody did that. Yeah, so I can see something here too. What's this? Oh, that's, um, look. That's, that's the top. The top part top. of the face. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. No, where? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, once you get your eye in. I know, start it's seeing true. Them, start seeing them everywhere. <laughs> Two more minutes and then we'll... <laughs> two more minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's spot the face time. <laughs> <laughs> it's spot the face. Can you see the face, everyone? It's just here. There it is. Oh my gosh, I can see something else as well. So Ooh, there's another one. That's and like what's, the first one. What's this? What's that? <gasps> oh my gosh, Ooh. that's, what is that? It looks like a strange little person with legs and... Oh, it looks like another insect. Maybe. I don't know. Crazy. <laughs> what? 
Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to see things now. Oh, oh, oh! I got another. I got another face! <laughs> Whoa! This is like the bonanza spot. <laughs> it really is! They're all over the place. <laughs> you just have to be looking in the, with the right mindset, you know? Of what it, oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, you got another one. Another one. <sighs> They're all over. <laughs> Faces all over the place. Faces. Ooh, so I one more, and then we've got to go and have something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> one more. One more. Oh, oh, I got one. Ooh. It's okay, I found the last one. No, oh, this one's weird. This one's two stuck together. Oh, really? Let's yeah. See. Look. Oh, yeah. That, and then turn it around. In there. And there's another one. So interesting. Yeah, okay, well, oh, 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 well, there's another weird, um, kind of trilo trilobite type thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so random. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can see myself getting quite addicted to searching for faces on Tepco Beach. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. So now we're beginning to suspect that perhaps these little faces are some kind of installation. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, see what I can find out. Here's something else, but I um, can't really see what that was supposed to be, <laughs> could you? No. <laughs> it's the same material, but yeah, it's funny. Once you start seeing these little faces, you start seeing them everywhere. You really get your eye in. So whether or not they're installations or from TEPCO, which I now kind of doubt, it doesn't matter because it's the greatest of fun looking for them. It is fun. And it's fun seeing a little face looking up at you. It is. It, it is. <laughs> it is. Hi everyone. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you're well, wherever you're watching from in the world. Well, that was a bit different, wasn't it, to mudlarking on the River Thames, but no less fun, it has to be said. And first and foremost, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my friend Jan Bishop for her wonderful hospitality and for taking me to Tepco Beach. Who knew that so much fun could be had searching amongst all those thousands of broken fragments of Tepco dinnerware, looking for patterns and names and logos. It really was absolutely fantastic. And we'll talk about the Buddhas in a moment, by the way, and the trilobites. Now, first of all, Tepco, which has actually a cult following. There are lots of people, apparently, that collect Tepco dinnerware. And there's lots of information about Tepco and Tepco Beach on the good old internet. I'll put a few links if you're interested to have a little read up on it. And there's a very good video. I used a few little excerpts from it in this video, which was made by the El Cerrito Historical Society, all about the Tepco company and the family who started it and it makes for very very interesting watching and if anybody from the El Cerrito Historical Society is watching a huge thank you to you for making that video it's um, very very informative so thank you very much indeed. So yes a lot of fun and I was very very fortunate to find a piece with a logo on from Ken's House of Pancakes. Now, Tepco provided lots and lots of diners and restaurants with their very sturdy dinnerware, not just Ken's House of Pancakes. There was the Doggy Diner and Spengo's Fish Grotto, amongst many, many more. And I have actually looked up Ken's House of Pancakes and have drawn a bit of a blank. There is one which still exists in Hawaii, but I'm pretty certain it's not that one because the logo is totally different. And I did come across a plate with this same logo on the good old internet. I'll put a picture up here. And I think that Ken's House of Pancakes must originally have been somewhere in the San Francisco Bay area. Have you heard of them? Have you heard of Ken's House of Pancakes in California? If so, please, please let me know. 
So, moving on to the Buddha heads and the trilobites and the other odd little, little moulds that we found. Now, they were very confusing, but a lot of fun. And again, a bit of research on the internet revealed that artist and college professor Casey O'Connor dumped hundreds and hundreds of little tiny Buddha heads that he made back in 2005 in the American River in Colfax. And actually, it's also him who dumped a whole load of them on the beach at TEPCO. Now, there's a really good comprehensive article that I came across, which was written in um, 2012, I think, by a man named Gregory Levine or Levine, um, all about Casey O'Connor. He actually went to interview him about this whole Buddha head project, and it's very, very good. I'll put the link in the video description. And it goes on to describe how uh, Casey almost got himself into a little bit of a pickle because of his Buddha head project. But I have to say that in a world which can be full of bad news and stress, an afternoon spent searching for Casey O'Connor's little Buddha heads is an afternoon well spent, which provided a lot of laughs, a lot of fun. And so thank you very much, Casey. We thoroughly enjoyed searching for those little treasures. Now, as for the little trilobitey things and the other little insect and the, the, little, the little man mould, I'm not sure if he did those too. Maybe if Casey O'Connor is watching this video, he could let us know, but he certainly made the Buddha heads. And yeah, it's not every day you go out searching for Buddha heads, is it? You just never know what you're gonna find these days when you go out searching for things. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think about why it's so pleasurable and relaxing searching for things. Why do we find such a lot of pleasure? Why do people enjoy looking for things so much? What are your thoughts on that? Thank you again for watching and thank you to everybody who has donated to my Ko-fi and my super thanks and for all your comments, for all your support. And thank you for being you. Have an excellent week. Do something fun. If you can't go searching for Buddha heads on Tepco Beach, then go and search for something else and let me know what you find. See you very soon for another mudlarking adventure. And in the meantime, I'm sending you lots of love from here in London. Take care. Bye-bye.